I'm not what I think I am. I'm not what you think I am. I am what I think you think I am. So we live in this perception of a perception of ourselves. While you're living in that bubble and that echo chamber, getting to what you really want to do is impossible. When we are born, we are like empty slates, like empty boards with nothing written on it. And we start gathering different values, core beliefs and ideas from the people around us, from our parents, from our siblings, from our friends in school. We take their values, we take the things they stand for and we adapt them in our lives and we learn them to be the truth and we start to see the world in that way. Our identity is not real, it's an illusion because it is only an accumulation of these beliefs and values and thoughts. It is not something that we are born with. We are only born with different genes and a certain brain wiring. We have a certain personality that we are born with that could make us have different talents for things. Some people can be better at sports and other people are better at art. Some people make their decisions based on rational thinking and others make them based on their emotions. People are different in that way. That's what makes you a unique individual. And of course, no matter if you have a talent for something or not, you can train yourself to do anything, to become better at anything. So for example, if you are someone who is more emotional, you can train yourself to become a more rational thinker. It just requires hard work and repetitive effort. Our core identity is not related to that and it is only thoughts in our head that we take to be the truth and the only truth. And we only start realizing that it is not necessarily the truth when we see how other people in other cultures live and we see other perspectives on life. Most people tend to see themselves in the eyes of other people, how other people are perceiving them. Do they like what I'm wearing? Do they like what I'm doing? Do they like the way I am speaking? We tend to do so many things just to please other people, just to make sure that other people are perceiving us in the way we imagine it. And the truth is, we can never really know how other people are perceiving us and we can never control it. No matter what you try to do, you're not gonna be liked by all people and this is not your fault and this is not something to be taken personally. It is just that everyone has his own idea of his identity and they judge other people based on their own values, core beliefs that they adopted when they were growing up. So this is why it is very important to be authentic with yourself, to do the things that you enjoy and avoid the things that you don't like without any kind of guilt or shame because no matter what you do, you can't change what people think about you. They're gonna think what they are going to think and you have no control over that. And also with being authentic, you can start to attract the right people into your life the people who are similar to you. The issue is, to be authentic, you have to dive deep into yourself to discover your core beliefs and values that you accumulated through the years and start changing the parts that you don't like about yourself. Changing ourselves starts with the realization that our identity is not fixed and that it is an illusion. It can be changed. Realizing that the things we have as core beliefs are not necessarily our own. We get a lot of different ideas and uh, beliefs from other people. Like people who tell us the things that we should do and should not do. Or as an example, it is when like our parents or the people around us pressure us to do something as a profession. Like becoming a doctor or an engineer. And then we do that and we start to believe that it is really the thing that we want to do. And we only realize that it wasn't really our thing years after we are in the profession. And this can be very difficult. 
to start seeing which parts of your identity are things that you want to have and which parts are things that you you should remove and this is something that really requires a deep dive in your psyche to have long thought processes with yourself this is where things like meditation can be very helpful when you are in silence where you have no distractions and you're only with your thoughts and sometimes certain memories can pop up in your brain and you can go back in your childhood and remember things that you were never aware of in the past and another good example is psychedelics like LSD and magic mushroom these are compounds that can be can be dangerous if are taken without being cautious but in the right circumstances they can be very helpful in facing yourself and uh, removing certain social masks that you build with yourself certain things that you thought you believed about yourself that they are some kind of truth and realizing that this is not really who you are once you start to realize which beliefs are actually yours which things you want to be part of yourself this is where the long process that requires a lot of patience starts let's say for example you're someone who is very pessimistic and you want to start to become more optimistic and more positive you can't say okay tomorrow i'm gonna be positive all the time this will never work this will always backfire you will be able to do that for a couple of days but then you will go back to how you were it's like building habits because this is this is just like building a habit it's something that requires time that you should be patient with and you should change little by little every day what we can do in this situation when we are someone who is very negative and we have negative thoughts the whole time is that we start by reminding ourselves when we have a negative thought and trying to replace it with something more positive these negative thoughts are gonna come back again and again and what we do is replacing them more and more and day after day things will get easier you will naturally become more positive this can take months maybe years it just depends how long have you been believing the things you believed that is why it is harder for older people to change themselves that's why it is easier when you are in your 20s in your 30s change is always possible but it just gets more tricky because you believed in things for many many years for a very long time that you just can't accept that the way you think might have been not the right way or not a good way and it can be terrifying for some people it can be very depressive like oh my whole life i was thinking the wrong way this can't be we might be in denial and just not uh, believing that it is the truth so the next step in changing ourselves is really about the people who are in your life it is about the people who you spend your time with and you surround yourself with if you are with people who are positive and have similar goals to you and similar values you will naturally become more and more like them you will really be affected by the things that they say that that they do and how they think and it can be something that is really good for you if you are with people who are working on similar things if you are doing positive things together and you will feel this sense of belonging to a community it's like our our human nature to to belong to a tribe to a group and on the other hand if you are with people who are very negative and you spend a lot of time with them you will slowly start to think the way they do we are just social creatures we are really affected by by other people's behaviors choosing the people in your lives is something very important and it is okay if you don't have a lot of friends if you don't have a lot of people in your life it is really better to spend your time with yourselves working on yourself rather than people who are just gonna bring you down change is never easy it is something that comes from within you cannot really force it on other people people must first have the realization that they can change anything about themselves and once they realize that everything becomes possible and we can try to influence them we can try to show them that there are other ways to think but they need to be 
at the right moment in time in order to see that they have to change.